I'm a failure. Completely and utterly a failure. I have failed at an unbelievable amount of things. I tried drop shipping, failed. I tried day trading, failed. I tried karate, failed. Tennis, even squash, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I've tried an unbelievable amount of things. Yet, because of all of these failures, it is now why I have the mindset of the successful. See, that was exactly my story. As a young kid, I tried out a lot of, lot of different things. And a lot of things I never really followed through. I failed at a lot of stuff. I wanted to try a bunch of things. Things didn't go so well. I wasn't too great at it. And then I quit. And I tried something else. Yet, I'm glad. Because there are some people out there who will never try anything because of the fear of failure. You see, I read a book. I read a book, and in that book, there is a quote by a man named Tom Hugard. I don't know if I pronounced his surname right. And this quote really helped me sort of understand how failure can literally dictate a large part of your life. You see, the quote is, How you feel about failure will to a very large degree define your growth and your life trajectory in virtually every aspect of your life. Yes. Losing and failing, it sucks. It can be a big blow to your ego. However, if you react correctly, it can be a huge amount of fuel to your growth. The mindset that I am ready to fail and not lose my composure, to keep learning from my experiences, from my mistakes and grow. A person who says I'm scared of failure, eh, I don't really hold them to a strong mindset. I don't believe that they're really mentally strong. However, a person who says, I am exceptionally good at losing. That is someone who has tried a lot of things and has learnt a lot. Those few words mean a whole great deal. The best loser wins. Do not underestimate these simple four little words. The power of action. What truly defines your growth and how much growth you will make in life? How will you grow to become successful isn't by the information that you hold, it's about how you use it. So, when you make a mistake, when you fail at something, take responsibility and learn from it. Yes, I look at young me, and you know, some parents would have looked at little child me, oh, why is he trying out so many different things? He's not good at it, he's, not, he's failing at all of it. That little kid, little Asian small, he's tried karate, didn't work, tried Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, didn't work, tried tennis, didn't work, tried squash, didn't work, even tried to become a comedian once, didn't work, drop shipping, trading, swing trading, day trading, futures trading, forex trading. He's tried all of this, why is he doing it though? Because he's sucking at every single one. I now look at past me and I am so glad that little child me just went and tried it. Every single thing, every single thing, I'm just glad he went and tried it without the fear of failure. I would rather go out, swing a dull sword everywhere mindlessly than stay inside and sharpen a sword that will never ever be used. Don't be afraid to do something just because of the fear of failure. You see, this is something that I really want to do in, the, I'm talking 10, 20 years down the line got my own kids, my own family, they're starting to grow up. My kids, I want to do this for them throughout their whole childhood. I want them to come back to me with one thing that they've failed on every single week. And I'm going to congratulate them on it. I'm going to celebrate. What's one thing you guys have failed today? And they'll be like, oh, I tried out magic. Uh, turns out I was really shit and embarrassed myself in front of a bunch of people. I'll be like, yes, that's good. Let's go. At first they'll be why is he doing this? But then they'll get into it. And all this simply does is just builds over their fear of failure. So the next time you're thinking of trying something, you want to be just that 1% slight bit better. You know, I'm not proud of how my body looks. You know, take off and my clothes, I go swimming, down, river jumping with friends. I'm not proud of how I look. You know, I'm skinny. There's no definition or I'm overweight. I'm not proud of how I look. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try the gym. Ah, oh, but I'm scared. I'm scared of what people will think of me. Go in there. Next time you have a thought like that, just do it. Don't let fear stop you from truly doing something that you want to do. 
because when it comes down to it, sadly, ultimately, no one really cares. It's very sad to hear, but no one really is looking at you. Most people are focused on themselves because they're worried about what other people think of them. Everyone's afraid of failure. That's normal. Doesn't mean you should stop doing things though. So the next time you want to try something, go do it. Hopefully, hopefully things have been good. I hope things have been alright. I don't know, maybe things haven't been so great. And I'd be really appreciative if you clicked on the video in the corner because maybe this can help you as well. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and don't give up. Hello. <laughs> Alright, self-improvement goes.